比拼。那看见了宫内呢，在这一次的赛水中呢，分别呢在八强的比赛呢，他是艰苦的以三局的。局数呢是打败了七号种子，现在代表荷兰的米奥丁呢晋升到半决赛。那接着在半决赛呢，再以直落两局打败了奥运的冠军龚志超，呃，进入到决赛赛事。而这一周密呢也是表现的非常的出色，也是毫无惊险的让他呢晋升到这一次。女单的决赛赛事，那至于呢，在过去呢，这世界锦标赛的女单锦标来说呢，话数一数，中国是除了在第一跟第二届跟对上一届，还有九三年那一届，除了四届之外呢，基本上都是由中国的球手垄断的这个赛事锦标。那其实基本上呢，再一次证明呢，中国呢在女单的实力里头呢，在长期到现在呢，都是居。在一个这个领先的这个地位了，确实是。对，就是说刚才我们也谈到，就是说谈到这个中国的女队为什么这样的，就是我觉得确实不容易，因为一个队说你拿一次冠军，我觉得还容易一点，你能够长时间的维持这样一个地位是很艰苦的。对，那看见了龚瑞娜相当年轻，是九八年世界青少年锦标赛呢。女单的冠军，那到今年来说才二十岁，身高呢一米七，这身材呢是非常好的一位单打选手。那在八强那一场比赛里头呢，确实呢打得相当的精彩，是通过三局以后呢是战胜了米奥奥蒂娜。但在昨天的半决赛呢，对上龚志超那一场比赛，可惜我们没有欣赏到。第一局呢，确实呢是打得相当的紧凑，在加分以后呢，他是以十三比十获胜，而第二局的赛事更赢得比较轻松，十一比四。可能第二局体力方面，龚志超可能因为年龄的关系，可能输给了他。嗯。Beautiful picture。那可以说呢，一位在近期来说呢，中国进步的非常快的女单选手。而至于他的对手呢，周密也是呢，可以说是非常的有实力，身材非常的高大，比较适合打这个单打，<笑>对不对？<笑>那可以说呢，周密呢，在九九年的时候呢，已经是闯出了名堂。对，其实在这个羽坛上面还是有相当名气的这个周密呢。那么刚才我们就说了，他除了自己，就是说。条件不错，那么当然他在这个技战术方面还是有他这个独特之处。对，来自广西的一位选手。我们也看到这个周密呢，也在做一些这个保护，尤其是这个腰。那么相信就是说，现在很多球员呢都有这样的一个现象。And Darren, I mean, we've been watching these players' progress throughout the championships. Gong Reina had a surprising victory over the Olympic champion in the semi-final, Gong Shishao. But we watched her quarter-final match against Mia Ordina, and we felt, in a way, she was a little bit one lucky to have won that one. Yes, she was um, against Mia Ordina. She was eight three down in the third set, and she really did look down and out. Um, one. But you know, hats off to her. She dug deep. She came through it, clawed her way back, and and somehow you know she scraped the third set. But you know, as we're saying, in the semi-final she beat, um, who in my eyes was favourite to win the tournament. You know, um, Gong Shishao, who basically in the team event beat Camilla Martin, 15 love, 15 one, was looking fantastic. So that has been the biggest upset of the tournament for me. Nice. Love. True me. 
averaging just eight points per match so far. Each match in an average of just under 28 minutes. Well, she started this final as if she really means business and means to continue that sort of form. player isn't she Two. yeah she is very powerful girl you know if she gets caught in the corner she's able to hit it right the way back out to the back there's not many lady singles players that can do it um, again once she gets the attack hits very strong shots very nice punch clears always looking for the power shots junior champion back in 1998 bronze medalist in the senior world championships two years ago two guaranteed four. at least a silver here used to seeing the Chinese players they're so fast around the court but the quality to me of these two ladies is their deception and their racket head control yes Jill, you know and they're so patient for it they don't look for a way out of the rallies early Three, um, such a good variety of shots from them you know, they come to it they all can spin the net shot so tightly so you know a big big advantage for them when they're playing other other ladies onto the next shot and it dropped too low I was mentioning the fact that these two had played each other in the last Grand Prix tournament before these World Championships at Japan Open met in the final. Opening game very close indeed. 11-8 and then Chumi storming away with second. 11-love. Yes, I think it's very important, you know, this first set for both girls. Obviously the, the three. record on the last few occasions, Chumi is slightly favourite, you know, she's got the upper hand at the moment, so I'm sure Gong will be wanting to, you know, put that to the back of her mind, start afresh, get this first set under her belt. singles final the, the importance of the net play is it just as important in ladies singles yes I think so I mean early on um, both girls making a few unforced errors around the net so that the touch is not quite there at the moment but I'm sure that you know once they can get the lift they get that option of flicking off as well oh that's good play Service over. yeah great play from Gong then 
you know, changed the angle of the smash, hit it straight at Shumi's body, got the weak return and was able to knock off down the sideline. Fantastic trouble. I mean, she was in a spot of bother. She took it late in her forehand corner. Most replies are just straight to the Three. net, but somehow she got Four. to it, got a racket to it, was able to bring it cross court. Completely surprising gong. That's a good rally. Over. Very good rally from both Four. girls at the moment. Both Three. trying to out position each other, out maneuver each other. If there is a question mark over the number two seed, Drew Me. Remembering back to the All England Championships, Darren, when she lost in the final to Dugong Shishao, I wondered at the Four, time whether she three. had the physical fitness. She looked to get tired in Birmingham. Yes, she did, did you? I'm sure she would have took that on board. I'm sure she'd been in China for the last couple of months. You know, this is the World Championships. This is the title she would perf. Give, given the choice, this is the one she would want. Five, so I'm sure three. she's worked on her fitness very hard. the deception at the net in the men's singles we're seeing it again here service over three five Lovely play from Shumi. Four, five. Yeah, great play. Bringing her opponent to the net. Flicking her deep into a forehand corner. No way back from there. me well gong having got her opponent deep into the forehand side thought that she'd try and get out of trouble hitting it cross court as she did earlier in the match by that time she was deceived the reply came straight and Jumi back on level terms smashing directly Five, at her opponent four. yeah she's, she's trying to chop and change a bit but when she's really gone for a big powerful smash it's straight at the body of Shumi and at the moment the tactics working very well for her Play, please 
Paris. Oh, that is brilliant. Seven over. Five on. Yeah, great play from Jumi again. Again from serve. Pulling her opponent across court. Gong just reaching it. Play, finishing off with a lovely cross court smash. Deep into the backhand of Gong. Lovely length, five. A hold and flick from the net. Controlled play. That's lovely. Service over. Five, six. Yeah, good play from Gong then. Again, using the tactic, smashing at the body. This time, Jumi getting a racket to it, getting it back. But Gong at the net early, forcing the short lift for the net, enabling the kill for her. <coughs> good well to get that one back. Six. Six. Oh. Yeah, good short, short serve from Gong. As she served, then the shuttle just clipped the top of the net. smashing directly at her opponent. long and that's a very hard grueling rally Eight. yeah and I think Six. that's what Gong's looking for at the moment she's looking to move Xiaomi the distances of the court and as we see she's you know a deep clear to her forehand a reverse slice to her backhand low corner really pushing and pulling her apart at the moment seem that willing to smash down the sides of the court no I think that you know they're, they're trying to cut the angle out they're both going down the middle it, you know it's working very well for them at the moment both players at the moment Landed in. Over. We're Eight. looking straight down Six. that line from our commentary position.
is over. Eight, six. Trying to play it too tight to the net. Her opponent was out of position. All she really had to do was get it over and in. Service over. Six, eight. Well, I think, Darren, both of these ladies are so aware of the importance of this opening game. Yeah, I think so, Drew, and at the moment they're just trying to go for that little bit too much, that little bit line, you know, give, give themselves a bit of margin, keep it in, let their opponent make the unforced error. Oh, so was the game. Eight, Smash down six. the centre. to the body so often used in doubles but a demonstration here of how it can be used effectively in singles as well service over six nine Service over. Yeah, lovely Six, shot. Nine. there. She's played it a couple of times now. Very deceptive. Looked like she's going to flick it long. Breaks her wrist. Delicate of touches over the net. Shot. Yeah, she'll be pleased with that. She's been stuck on six for a few serves now. Relief to get off it. in that rally long rain up and now who me just one point of the deficit oh that's tremendous yeah great play Zalmi then Nine, set up from a, a nice flick down the forehand of Gong, a short return but a great smash cross court. That's over. a lovely shot. A hold and flick from the net. 
sending her opponent the wrong way. Nine forward. Play from Gong then. Kao Xiao, we pinned into a backhand corner, trying to stretch out, trying to go round the head, just pulling a clear wide. So again, point for Gong Reinhardt. Hit it wide. Game. And the opening game goes to the number three seed, Gong Reina. Well, she had to fight Five hard game, for five. it. But in the Four, error seven, from Xiaomi and Gong Reina, the opening game, 11-9. Second game, double play. 23 minutes for that opening game before the number three seed Gong Reinhardt taking it 11 9. records uh, playing one another and the last time that Gong beat Xiaomi was almost two years ago. Yes, Jill, and you know, she's come out, she's played a very positive first set, Gong, um, really making Xiaomi work all the time, pushing her deep, bring her in forward, um, a very good tactic, using the smash at the body very successfully. the first game that Jumi has dropped throughout the championship. Oh, that's a that super over. shot. The control from round the head, playing it across Lost. court. One. One, all. Peter Garnett of Denmark, faulting receiver for moving before the serve was struck. play from Gong. Set up a good smash down the backhand side of Xiaomi. Return to net, came in on it quickly, a flick over her head, right into the forehand corner deep.
goodness Service over. me. One, two. Absolutely fundamental error. Yeah, I don't think you could believe the return that came Maybe. from Zalmi. Lost concentration, hit it out the back. trying to take the shuttle early. Really didn't push forward with the stroke enough. And I just wondered in that rally, Darren, was, if there were signs that Drew Me was beginning to tire. Yes, I think so, Jill. You know, n not so keen on trying to get there early, just out of position, you know, not, not moving her legs back quick enough to get behind the shuttle at the moment. Oh. Service over. Two, three. There was absolutely nothing wrong with that return of serve. Exactly right, Two. Darren. She really didn't get her feet behind the shuttle there to be able to hit in a downward direction. No, you know, she's, she's got to stay patient. The rally was going on for a few shots there. She tried to look for a way out of there, but she wasn't on balance to hit that smash down the line. Darren, that this is a, a crucial stage in the match. Yeah, I'm sure you're right, Gil. Jill, no, not one of them is, is, I'm sure if one of them made a push for it now, got a few cl points clear. Darren about Shumi's strength out of the deep corners so strong she even cleared that one along at the back line yeah it was it was Five, a right two. idea it really had gone in all four amounts of trouble then but just missed the back line Yes. 
short over. lift from the net from Gong. Two, five. Still has to be put away, still needs the concentration. into the net, brushing it off, playing it deep into court. Yeah, she's playing the right game at the moment, Jill. She really is moving down me very fast to the net, and when she's coming to the net, it's a very quick flick to the corner. So it's, it's keeping her guessing, it's making her move the distances of the court. Running out of ideas, she's trying, as you say, to, to finish the rally too Don't quickly or, or not playing with the normal sort of patience that we're used to seeing. No, exactly. You know, she's got to wait for the opportunity, got to be patient and not, you know, wait to get that opening. But she's trying to make the opening too early on in the rally at the moment. Anticipation from Gong Renard. Seven, two. She was ready and waiting for it. language Two, said seven. one thing and she played the shot in the opposite direction. Play please. Well, unless she starts making inroads now, I don't think she'll get back into this match. was there for Gong. Service over. That to me Seven. was a tired looking shot. Three. Yeah, it really was. The rally was going on longer than what she wanted then. Gong playing very well, kept her moving, kept the pressure on. And in the end, Xiao Mei looking for a cross court shot. Down in the court, 
assistance. Seven, three. Pushed wide. Service over. Three, seven. That's a super shot. Seven. And look at the reaction Eight. afterwards. Yeah, she'd be well pleased with that. Normally she's flicked off from there, but she took the pace off the shoal. Xiaomi thought she was going to the back of the court and just dropped it short. over three seven oh, she's been stuck on seven for a little while now Obvious signs that Xiaomi feels that she's really got to start making a move now, otherwise it's going to be too late. Looking far more positive in that rally. She was. She was looking more positive. She was, you know, trying the angles, hitting some better smashes, looking for the return. And as you say, she's she's got to start doing it now, otherwise she's going to leave it too late. Seven three. backhand so much so hitting it long of the back line service over three play from Zalmi. A lot of conviction behind that. Attack straight at the body of Gong. Coming in, looking for the return. Getting the short lift and putting it away. Right at the feet of Gong. ago Gong Reina was world junior champion and now she's just three points away from taking the world championship itself She's really pushing herself now. Nine, you can see she's four. working hard for each rally. She's staying patient with it. Again, that Don't push down the line deep into Xiaomi's corner. And Xiaomi really didn't have the strength then to get it out. Gone wide. Yeah. Ten, 
and so Gong Rena now on the verge of victory. World Championship point. Oh. Service over. Oh. All credit to Jumi. Ball. What Ten. a shot to play. Superb. Ten ball. A great spinning net shot from Gong. Xiaomi done so well to get it back. But she was there ready for the kill. Rack it up. Second championship point. Yes, and this time Ten. she gets it. Gong Rena, bronze medalist two years ago three years ago world junior champion and now with a little wave to the crowd Gong Reynar has become the world champion with a victory 11-9 11-4 over teammate and number two seed Jumi she's dead那刚才也跟大家呢欣赏呢这一届世界毛球锦标赛的最后一项的决赛项目女单的决赛来看一下被对镜头呢这一位中国年轻选手也是九八年世青赛的女单冠军龚雷娜在今天的比赛开始的时
之前也讲了，就是说作为女的选手，那么最主要就是说她要有一个耐心，因为你不可能在这个几派之内呢就打死对方，所以呢，在这个耐心的方面方，那个周密就显得比较急躁，所以在多派过后呢，就比较多的这个失误。嗯，确实。那其实可以说呢，也是虽然说没有看到这一场那一场的半决赛赛事，龚瑞娜打龚志超，那基本上呢，如果你估计的话呢，龚瑞娜取胜龚志超呢，是利用他什么的特点？我觉得一个就他的本钱是他的年轻，那么就是说他有这个也是有比较良好的这个基本技术，因为我们之前也介绍了这个龚志超的这个基本技术也相当的这娴熟，他也是通过这个。他的这些高调来拉开对方突击，可是，在遇到这个龚瑞娜，因为我就说他的这个基本技术也比较好，再加上他可能身材比较高，那么可能有机会比较多的这个突击，所以造成这个龚志超呢可能比较辛苦。嗯，确实，那看见呢，龚瑞娜呢，基本上在这一届赛事呢，确实呢，发挥的非常的理想，也是呢，顺利的登上呢，继三年前呢，登上了青少年组的这一个世界冠军之后呢，在三年之后呢，登上了成年组的这个世界冠军的位置。这时候呢，跟大家呢，再来看看在这一届赛事里头呢，一些的成绩。那在昨天呢，为大家呢送上混合双打的决赛赛事里头呢，就是看见中国的组合呢，就是去年悉尼奥运会的冠军组合张军跟高林呢，再次呢是打败了韩国的组合金东文跟罗景宁，而获得了这一届的世界冠军，是以十五比十、十二比十五跟十七比十六相当紧凑的比分获得胜利。而至于在今天呢的。在水头呢，看见男子双打的角色呢，今天呢，印尼的组合下去呢，已经是展示了他们的气势，十五比零跟十五比十三击败了上一届的冠军金东文跟何泰全。而至于这男子单打的赛事方面，叶成旺也是呢，出乎我们意料之外，只落两局，十五比六跟十七比十六打败了丹麦的 p e t e 而至于在女子双打赛事里头呢，中国球手呢自己也比拼黄。所以跟高林获得女双的锦标。至于在刚才女单赛事，龚瑞娜也是登上了冠军的宝座。而现在看见呢，四位中国的球手呢已经就位，将要呢来接受这一次呢他们的奖牌。那两位老将，龚子超跟张林并列第三，呃，冠军呢就是画面这一位龚瑞娜。所以这个以老这个以新这个代替老的这个球员呢，今天就正式的就展示在大家的面前。对。那么再次体现中国女单在这个年轻一代里面，再次给告诉大家，就是说他们已经具备了这个高水平的实力。我看见两位铜牌的中国球手，那个子比较高的就是张琳，而现在呢，国际羽联的会长。女生女士也是颁发季军的奖牌给予龚志超，还献上了鲜花，也是祝贺张琳还有龚志超获得这一届世界羽毛球锦标赛女子单打的第三名。获得第二名的就是这一位，笑脸常开的周密。<笑>对。那确实呢，是一位相当开朗的选手，跟高林一样。对。那也是相当不错的成绩。对。可是从这个心机方面来看，我觉得高林要比他来得好一点。对。就是尤其我们主要是看这个球路的这个变化。<笑>那么我觉得这个周密呢，在今后的训练当中应该还是要小心。那刚才蛮。可爱，看见周密好像不知所措。那外国那个颁奖嘉宾给予他那个礼仪上的亲吻，他好像有点有点尴尬，有点腼腆。对，这个也是因为他还年轻，对，接触的比较少。啊，现在女生荣女士也是给他们献上了鲜花。冠军是龚瑞娜。才二十岁的中国年轻选手，那在这一届的赛事呢，确实呢打出了非常高水平的技术，对，连闯多关，而让他成功的坐上在世界冠军的位置，相当开心的笑容。对，四位中国的选手也是显示的，目前在世界羽毛球的。女子形式里头呢，完全是中国队的像像这个团体赛一样的，对吧？<笑>
其实刚才在这个男双上面有一个这样的情形，就是马来西亚这一对四个就是两对组合，对对，可是他们站的位置不一样。<笑>不过确实呢，非常的强势，前四名的选手都是属于中国。来看一下我们。